Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazarius here from The Automator. In this script, I'm going to tell you to be one of your favorite ones, which you get used to it. What you can easily do, go ahead and demonstrate, Isaiah, real quick, is if you, you it allows you to just to click this. on a window and throw it right. to another monitor. This window here, right? So I have this window, and I could just use a hotkey to go ahead and make it jump to the other monitor for a little while. So if I don't care about this one, it just jumps that way. And instead of you having to drag it up and, you know, Doing this, you just go ahead and hover over it, and then you just do that. It's very simple to kind of like toggle the program, the window program, into a random location in the other window. So it is really cool. And the script itself, when you run it, it's just you're going to be setting up some preferences here. So this part right here about the monitors, this might change a little bit later because if you only have two monitors, then you don't have to set this up for real. It, it should only happen if you have more than three monitors, in which you have to more specify where you want to yeah. throw the wing, right? If you have more than two monitors. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's right. If you have more than two of them, right? But um, this other part here allows you to set up a hotkey for your program. And right now it's Alt, right click, mouse button. Now, uh, if you select some keyboard shortcuts instead, it would just remove the mouse button because that's you cannot have both at the same time. Okay. Yeah. I, so alt right mouse click, hit OK. And that's is, it. It's bound to be what's under your mouse, and that's why I said, hey, we got to have a hotkey that we can bind bind to a mouse because your mouse is already part of what you're doing. So it makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah. that's totally true. That's that I, I totally agree because if you have a keyboard shortcut, let's say F one. You first had to put your mouse on top of the window anyways. Well, what was so. funny was, I think it was Rizwan, but I'm not sure it might have been her They had it like um, right alt and what, it was something with your right hand, which I used to move the mouse. So I'm like, I have to move my mouse over it. Then I got to take my hand off the mouse and hit the hot key. So anyway, that was, I thought was funny. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's bad. <laughs> I'm actually now curious because I have a, uh, this mouse that has the X buttons, X1 and X2. Kind of use one of those special mouse button yeah. one, for example. Okay, yeah. so if I just we, oh, we that's I that know. approach, yeah, from uh from QAP, how Jean Lalon did it. Uh, looks like we got a little thing to fix here. Oh, that's different. Yeah, that, that's something else. Oh, okay, but yeah, it uh, it's it's a pretty cool way, but it's it's a super simple script. I think there's a preference that um on the system tray to let you add to startup because it's going to be one you want running all the time. Um, and yeah, it, it's very simple and it just allows you to throw your window that you're under to the other monitor. And so for me, I have three and that's why I have to say, what do the two monitors I want to have to have this relationship? If I click something on the third monitor, it throws it like to one of those two and then they toggle between those two. Yeah, that's right. Very great script. I actually will be using it very often. Um, this is something that we, I don't know why we don't do that more often. Like, I don't want this window in front of me. I don't have to close it. I just right. want to. Yeah. yeah. And right. if, if it's maximized, um, it will minimize it, throw it, and then re-maximize it. If it's not maximized, it just throws it at the same time. Oh, side. yeah. There it is. I, I just noticed it. Yeah. Yeah. It's. There it goes. Cool. Yeah, it's uh, very, very slick. Handy. Yeah, it's very handy. All right. So I'll put the URL up here where you can grab that. Um, remember to like the video if you enjoy this and learn something. We do videos, release videos three times a week here, and we got some great courses which have a double your money back guarantee. So I'll put that link up here as well if you're interested in learning more how to do this yourself. But anybody can get this. Actually, we're going to have to give a compiled version of that one as well as AS because uh, I think a lot of people that aren't auto hotkey people would just love that functionality. Thanks everyone. Cheers. Bye guys.